Coming up on Red Hawk News, ACIT Spring Music Concert is coming up. We had some winners from Skills USA. And Spirit Week is drawing near. Stay tuned to find out the themes. Red Hawk News starts now. Coming to you from Red Hawk Studios at the Atlantic County Institute of Technology, this is Red Hawk News. Welcome to today's episode of Red Hawk News, the most trusted source for all things ACIT. I'm Jenner Ferrer. And I'm Gabriella Verwet. On April 25th, ACIT celebrated Bring Your Child to Work Day. There are so many activities that the kids got to participate in. On Thursday, April 25th, ACIT celebrated Bring Your Child to Work Day. Teachers and staff were given the opportunity to bring their children to school and participate in fun activities. These activities were held by media production, culinary, cosmetology, CAD, aviation, and more. The activities were not only held by the academies, but the science, AP history, and Spanish classes held events as well. For Red Hawk News, I'm Marco Soto. On Friday, May 3rd, ACIT sent six culinary arts juniors and two carpentry sophomores to Caesars Casino to the cook-off challenge against other schools from the state. On Friday, May 3rd, ACIT sent six culinary arts juniors along with two carpentry sophomores to compete in the annual vocational technical school cook-off challenge, which took place at Caesars Casino. This 12-year-old event is held by the New Jersey Association of Counties for culinary arts students across the state who compete for titles in taste, creativity, and food presentation. Teamwork was crucial as each team was tasked with creating 300 samples of an appetizer at a total cost of less than $700. ACIT brought home a victory with their award-winning dish, a French onion braised short rib on a garlic butter crostini. ACIT won the Chef's Award in Bronze for Taste, NJAC Judges Award in Gold for Taste, and the amazing People's Choice Award in Gold, which includes a 1250 scholarship prize. Congratulations to all those who competed in this competition. For Red Hawk News, I'm Ava Luciano. ACIT brought home several awards from this year's Skills USA competition. On Saturday, April 28th, ACIT's best and brightest competed in their annual Skills USA state competition. Since there are dozens of different contests, the competitions were held at several venues over the past few months. ACIT set representatives from culinary arts and health science and medicine. Each competition presents challenges that combine many of the skills learned within their programs. The time permitted for each event is determined by the scope and depth of the specific contest. After the contest, the competitors attended the Skills USA awards ceremony to learn who won. ACIT produced gold medal winners in occupational health and safety, a silver medal winner in medical terminology, and bronze awards in first aid CPR, MRE culinary challenge, and wedding cake decorating. Congratulations to everyone who participated. For Red Hawk News, I'm Layla Miller. We will be right back after this quick break. ACIT's vocal, band, and choir ensemble are having their spring music concert this Thursday, May 23rd. The concert will be held in the pack, and the curtains open at 6 p.m., so bring friends, family, or someone you hold dear to enjoy the performances where students show their musical talent through instrumental and vocal acts. Do you have a formal event coming up soon that requires you to be dressed professionally? Many students don't own these essential clothing items and are unsure of what to wear to their big event, but ACIT's Career Closet is here to help. The Career Closet is a location for students to get clothes, shoes, and accessories to help them feel confident and ready. This event could be an interview, a school event, or even a funeral or wedding. All the closet's clothing has been gently worn before being donated by the ACIT community, so they are in excellent condition and are entirely free to students. The Career Closet has a large selection of blazers, dress pants, dress shirts, and shoes, which are organized and clean. Work-based student coordinator Gina DeMeo says, with advance notice, it can be open for availability. Send her an email at gdemeo at acitech.org to ensure you can get your free formal wear before your event. Welcome back to Red Hawk News. New Jersey experienced an unexpected seismic event a few weeks ago. Maya has the report. 
The tri-state area was rattled with a 4.8 magnitude earthquake on April 5th. Its epicenter was in Lebanon, New Jersey, and it struck at around 10.30 a.m. Many locals felt the earthquake shake their homes and neighborhoods. ACIT student Layla Miller said, It felt like my whole house was shaking, and my dog stopped everything and looked around scared. The earthquake caused more than 50 aftershocks throughout the region, most noticeably at 6 p.m. with magnitude 4 aftershock on the 5th. The original quake caused the shaking of buildings, trees, and vehicles from Maine to Maryland. ACIT student Douglas Golden exclaimed that, A big painting fell off my desk and my dog ran and hit. <laughs> Earthquakes in the eastern states of the USA are very rare, but due to their rarity and other geographical aspects, they are felt stronger throughout larger areas, according to the USGS. ACIT media teacher Brian Lasavita also felt the earthquake and said, It felt like someone took my entire bed and shook it ferociously. It was like being in a bounce house with 50 kids jumping all over at once. It was a really long six seconds. New Jersey was very lucky to face no damage and to have none of the population injured. The earthquake was a rare experience, one that was exciting and scary to live through. For Red Hawk News, I'm Maya Hagan. Spirit Week is coming up next week. Dress up to show your ACIT cheer. Monday is Disney Day. Dress up as your favorite Disney character. Tuesday is barbecue dads and soccer moms dress up in preparation for the summer. Wednesday is college or career day. Rep your college or career gear. Thursday is cultural expression day. Dress up to represent your culture. And Friday is USA Olympic day. Dress in red, white, and blue. At the end of the week, there will be a spring prep rally. Red Hawk News wants to acknowledge the monthly winners of character counts for April. The word of the month for April was courage. Each of these winners fit the mold. For 9th grade, Nasir McNeil. For 10th grade, Emma Heiberger. For 11th grade, Aiden Licoli. And for 12th grade, Carolina Bernard. Each month, students can nominate a peer for Character Counts. The winners from the senior class will be running to win a Character Counts scholarship at the end of the year. Each of the winners also received a Wawa gift card. Congratulations from everyone at Red Hawk Media. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to follow Red Hawk Media on YouTube. Please like and subscribe to receive the latest news from ACIT. Also, discover more about ACIT on our digital publication, The Pursuit. For the crew and staff of Red Hawk News, we'll see you next time. And remember, pursue, pursue what, what you love. love.